Hi everyone, I'm back. I'd like to thank all those who viewed my previous vlogs and I'd like to thank all those who are new and are just starting to see my vlogs. So thank you and I hope you all come back. Um, my, review, my movie review for today is on The Ugly Truth and Julie and Julia, which I've been lucky enough to finally get a chance to see because I've been so busy getting ready to go back to school and everything. Uh, first, The Ugly Truth. Now, the critics panned this one pretty badly, and when I saw it, I could see why they gave it such a bad rating and gave it such bad reviews, but I still enjoyed it because I had a lot of laughs. I laughed at a lot of the jokes. Uh, Katherine Heigl was very funny. I thought she was very funny with good comedic timing. The supporting cast was great. I love Cheryl Hines. Gerard Butler... Unfortunately, not so much. When he was talking uh, on the news camera and everything, and on his talk show about all these topics, then I enjoyed it because I thought he was very good with that. But everything else, not so much. It all felt a little more rushed. Now, I love romantic comedies no matter what, but this just felt very flip-floppy. Had a lot of funny moments, but just felt flip-floppy. So, you know, that's just how I felt about it. Number two is Julie and Julia. Now, I've gotten into cooking a lot over the last couple of months. I've learned how to make good meatloaf, fajitas, uh, mac and cheese. I made this pork chop cabbage dinner. Long story <laughs> for another time. Um... So I was really looking forward to seeing Julie and Julia because it was about cooking and stuff. And it takes place uh, between both women's lives, Julie Child's life in 1940s France when she's just starting to cook and then going on to the 50s and stuff. And then it takes place in Julie Powell's era in 2002 New York where she decides to make a blog, a year-long blog, on her cooking journey, cooking all 524 recipes from Julia Child's Mastering the Art of French Cooking book. And she struggles a lot, and when she, you know, whines about, it has a meltdown when she doesn't get some stuff right, it reminds me of me when I first started to cook, and I didn't get it right the first time. I had a big meltdown. I was a little, like, crazy and everything. <laughs> But, you know, you got to take your time and your patience with it, and you'll get it right eventually, is what I've learned. And Meryl Streep, very great as Julia Child. She really nailed the accent and everything, so she was really phenomenal. But what else could you not expect from her? <laughs> I love her so. <laughs> and Stanley Tucci, Tucci, I don't think that's right, Stanley Tucci um, played her husband, uh, Julia Child's husband, Paul Child, and we've seen their work in The Devil Was Prada, like three years when it came out three years ago. So he was very good, and I loved him and Streep together. <laughs> so it was good. I thought Amy Adams was good, and I thought the person who played her husband, Eric, was very good, was good too. And I really enjoyed it. And I tell you, I had a big craving for that beef bourguignon. And my mom went to see it with me. And she loved what that beef bourguignon looked like. It was so good. It looked so good is what I should say. Because <laughs> I've never tried it before. And so I really did enjoy it. And I recommend seeing it because it was really good. <laughs> And that's all I have to say about uh, those two films. And I hope to come back with some more movie reviews. And thank you for watching. Have a good day. Or a night. <laughs>